Hello and welcome to Pirates Ahoy! Thief 2 fan mission by Christine and Greenhorn. So how did they replace the mouse by uh, Very well, very nicely done. Uh, uh, intro screen with custom animations. Don't see that too often. But definitely, you can tell there's been a lot of work put into this. Let's get started. Uh, well, choose the difficulty in a second. Let's, uh, fire it to Hawaii. Right. Escaping from the city guard forced you to leave all of your equipment behind, so find an alternative for your sword. Of course you need to find a replacement for your blackjack too. And new lockpicks. Once again you're totally broke. Find at least 2,000 loot. Bring it to the local weapon shop and equip yourself. Find this ominous treasure map and steal it and find a way to sneak aboard the ship. So, well there isn't there isn't a briefing text in the read. We didn't have briefing but it did say read the notes in your inventory. So, we're kind of back to front in terms of story I guess but we'll catch up in a second. And find a way to sneak aboard the ship. Uh, I forget a jet car, don't kill anyone, and then we just put the loot. Let's stick, let's do, uh, jet tunnel. Well, I mean, not, don't kill anyone. Yeah, it's going in between. It, it, it bothers me for no good reason that the hotspot of the, uh, of the hook mouse pointer is not the actual point of the hook, it's actually the top left. Uh, it's not a problem, it's not a big deal, it's just... Alright, Garrett's notes. This wasn't really a good day for me. The lucrative burglary at Lord Carlson's proved to be a total flop. I was still broke afterwards and dog-tired to boot. Arriving at my hideout, I just wanted to sleep, but the quiet didn't last long. I was abruptly ripped from sleep when a good dozen troopers from the city guard stormed into my home. I barely had time to escape through the window, only to find more guards awaiting me on the street below. Still managed to avoid capture by jumping into the river, but then I had to hide in the sewer all day long. Now, night has fallen, and it is time for me to be on my way. I should leave the city as wanted posters for me are probably all over the place by now. Maybe I can sneak onto a boat. At Lord Carlson's, I found notes on an old treasure map, which is in the possession of Mr. Turner, the bookseller. For him, it is only an old heirloom, but Lord, Lord Carlson is convinced that the treasure really exists. Who knows, maybe there's a bit of truth in it. I should obtain this map. However, there's still another problem. During my undignified escape, I had to leave behind all of my equipment. I need replacements urgently. I must find a way to visit the armorer on my way to the harbor. Moreover, I should do something about my distressing lack of funds. My stomach is growling, so hopefully I'll be able to find some food on the way. We drop the notes? No. So there's going to be a scene I enjoy. That's fine. What do we have? No, no equipment at all. No, no sword, no blackjack, no anything except our notes in our compass and... A lantern if I want a lantern. I'm not sure I'll carry a lantern around. Oh, well, at least there's these handy hiding place in the sewers. If there's anything up on those beams, I'm not going to be able to reach it. Do I have a map even? I do. That's a that's a very nice map. They've replaced the entire map screen as well, not just the, uh, the center part. All right. Uh, the hiding place in the sewers will come out by the market. Oof, the bookseller is in the north. Arms trade, I think that says. That would be the armorer. City Watch, of course, is all over the shop. The harbor, where we've got to go, is there. All right. At least these sewers are relatively clean. Hello, what's... Okay. It's a canal more than sewers, I suppose. 1,000 gold dead, 2,000 gold alive. And a box seat at the execution. Wow. Oh, this, they've got fish swimming up and down too. That's nice. That's a nice touch. Hmm. 
What's the place? A lion's flowers. Oh, sorry, Lisa's flowers. I misread. Uh, right, this is the marketplace. So we could cut out the. You know what? Let's let's head out the east end there. Let's try and take the city from north to south. We've got to get this. Uh, you know, it's going to be easier. To, I'm changing my mind. Let's, get, let's try and focus on getting our arms back. Yeah, let's go out the east and then try and cut straight down here. Try and find some equipment first. It's going to be much easier, I think, to sneak. If we uh, can have some kind of... Some kind of equipment. Well, the street is not too heavily patrolled. It's... Positive. It was a very bright night, but uh, not too terrible. Oh, so I guess my night vision making it easy for me to see and hard for the guards to see me. Opens the side gate, or whether I'm gonna have to climb my way up somewhere. I'm not that climbing is gonna be an option there. Ma'am, crawling in, crawling in circles is not very helpful to me. She figured it out, but no, she's still going. I'm just going to do a quick save load in case it helps her resolve her past finding troubles. It does. Jesus. Gate open? No, but does Bill's key open it? It does not. So, who would have lockpicks for me then? Maybe I should try going north. Probably just some rookie. My objective just says find a replacement for your sword, blackjack, lockpicks. Bring to the local weapon shop is afterwards, but you know, it's kind of. It seemed to me a natural place to begin. Alright, well, let's just try heading towards this bookshop. Who knows, maybe we'll find a. Uh, Purveyor of locksmiths. Locksmiths? Lockpicks? Me. There's some food in those crates, but uh, it's not going to do me even too much good, is it? Let's 
sit and take a sip of my rum. And munch on some pemmican while I wait. I mean, it's foolish just to, to think that Biddle's Key might be opening one of these shops. So, presumably it opens his house, or his chest in his guard quarters, or something. In his watch area. Ooh, I don't think I can crawl along that. Okay, here it comes. Hello? Somewhere. No smoke guards, okay. We cannot climb vines in this mission, okay. Are you throwing any coins in the fountain for me? East of the bookstore. Oh, the bookstore's here. I'm up in this area. I think. Well, guess we'll find out what's it, what's here. Well, it's also the bookshop. It's the back door of the bookshop. No, I should have joined the army. Gotta get levels for rewards now. I mean, this building is hovering above the ground. It's like brush ordering from there. Fortunately, the back of the bookshop is all brightly lit. And if we've got two guards coming in and out, it's going to make it. Safe. It's going to be locked, right? This isn't the sort of town where they, you leave your back door unlocked. Huh? What? Yeah, it's locked. Well, we'll check this gate in a minute as well. Before our blue coated friend comes back. Okay, this gate is open. No guards here? Good. Oh, some people leave the doors unlocked. Ah, uh, greenhouse, I suppose. There's no valuables that people would want to steal, but... There's, uh, plenty of... tomatoes for me. Yeah, it doesn't like, uh... cabbages, though. Just tomatoes. Interesting that they're coming in bunches of three that are, uh, arranged like that. Well, Scarecrow did not scare off the Wandering Thief. Yeah, that's one thing uh, you can guarantee, I guess, with one of Christine's missions, is lots of custom models. Because uh, I know she made a lot of the ones that are on the uh, Thief Object Repository. Hello. Keeping your key under the welcome mat. Oh, it's the Greengrocer.
Why do we always have bad luck? First, my husband left on a ship to go search the South Sea Islands for unknown plants, and now the shop's going downhill. He used up all of our savings to pay for passage on the ship. He's been gone for over six months now on a quest for bananas, or whatever he calls them. The people here are exploiting this situation shamelessly. They are still buying vegetables and fruit and want to pay later as usual. When my husband was still here, then yes, they paid their bills. But now? I tried again today to collect money that I desperately need, but without success. Even the sheriff just said, I'll pay up when your husband comes back again, because he's the shopkeeper. My daughter Elizabeth and I, we don't have any money left. Nothing. We can't even buy bread. At least we don't have to totally starve since we do have vegetables and fruit. But I would like to buy a real toy for Elizabeth so that she does not always have to juggle tomatoes or pile up apples. She wants one of those dolls from the toy shop so badly. Tomorrow is her sixth birthday. What a sad day that will be. I couldn't get enough money to buy her even a chocolate cake, let alone a present. I'm so sorry for her. And her father? I have a very bad feeling. He should have been back here long ago. Maybe something happened to him? If only he'd come back, then everything would be alright. Strange that they have chocolate, but not bananas. But, you know... In terms of... In terms of... Uh, not in terms of... Uh, I don't mean these people can afford chocolate. She can't afford chocolate, right? Should I be stealing from them then? <laughs> I mean, if they're trying to survive, I don't, I don't really need all the food I've got, right? Not even an objective to find food. I, mean, I just took 37 tomatoes from their uh, greenhouse. The assume it's theirs. Oh, they've got an enormous house, though. Being a green person must pay pretty well when people actually remember to pay. Okay. So the front door is used for way out. I mean, maybe maybe didn't buy this house with this green growth and stuff. Maybe this house has been in this family for generations. I don't know. Could just be. Ten second rule. I don't need more than ten tomatoes, right? Let's have a look upstairs. doesn't open. Okay. Is there anything else here? Well, I guess that gives us a another way around on these streets, but not really a great one considering how brightly lit it is in here. Hmm. No sign of lockpicks though. Maybe I just need to head out by the market. See any, I didn't see any places there that looked like... Well, I should get back and look, right? Hang on to this key for now. I was kind of... not really paying full attention to what... Uh, what was around here. Alright, there's the back door of the bookshop.
Don't move into me, man. Is that you? I don't know who did you think it was. Oh wow. <clears throat> Not very observant, but okay. Like, calm down. I guess that's There's good for me. That's, oh, it's not a door. I was going to say, that's an unlocked door, looking at the handle position, but it's not actually a door at all. That's very unfortunate. Okay, hang on. Unfortunately, this ambient is way too high, so... Oh, it's not even... It's not even flagged as ambient. That's unfortunate. I have to put up with it, then. Right. Magic shop, maybe? Magic lockpicks? He's not looking. Friend is coming, but he's not actually paying attention to us right now. Guess it's a quiet shift after all. Well, some potions will come in handy. That's for sure. Can't read that book. like an unlocked door. Do you wish? That's probably my number one pet peeve in fan missions. Is having to run up to a door to find out if it's actually a door. Fancy statue. Oh. Who's this? The billion. So, you know there's a curfew? Well, maybe there's not a curfew. It's just a curfew for Garrett to avoid the guards, but nobody else. Oh, this is Lisa's flower shop. Okay. Well, well the flower business pays all right, but not amazingly. That uh, civilian fellow. I don't think he's going to see me. Say? Sven swing knife, duck carver. Oh, duck carver. I didn't know that was a profession. A wooden duckling. Whoops. Well, I mean, that's kind of cool, kind of cute. There's a lot of them. Knife. It's not 
quite as good as a sword, but it maybe it'll do. All my ducklings! Ah, uh, life is really splendid. I can do what I like most and even earn money with it. By now my ducklings are well known in the city and every child wants to have one. I'm always sad to say goodbye to one of my beloved ducklings, but the lady from the toy shop pays good money for them and one day I'll be able to fulfill my greatest dream. I'll buy a ship and cover, figure ahead for it. A huge and beautiful duck. And the ship will be called the Flying Duckling. Then the people can talk as much as they want about me. Captain Sven will set sail, and I will only take my little daisy with me, my gorgeous favourite duck, the only duck I will never sell, no matter the price. Until then, I will continue to carve ducklings for the nice lady from the toy shop, and will let Daisy swim in the river every afternoon. The little one loves that. Of course, I have told her about my great dream, and she's already very excited. She's looking forward to setting sail with me, and then we will teach all the rogues and pirates to fear us. <laughs> and the uh, teapot. We use a teapot. Nice. Sven's favourite duck. Should I take Sven's favourite duck? Seems a bit rude to take his favourite duck, doesn't it? You know what we can do? Oh, well, actually, I like that. It's, it's carving the duck out of a out of a log. What we can do, you know, he's got so many, he's not going to notice one missing, right? Get to the greengrocer. Well, we'll just leave it here for the moment. Yeah. Well, no, let's go. Let's find out if this is even gonna gonna work, right? If the game is gonna recognize this. Greengrocer wanted a toy. It's their kid's birthday tomorrow. Maybe a rogue and a thief, but doesn't mean I don't have some feelings. I suppose we could have got to the green grocer from the front door, but oh well. Let's wait for the green guard, then we can get to the green grocer. Someone say something. It's never really anything. It's just a duck. Wooden quack. That key. Whoops. Oh, wow. I stumbled a lot, a lot, didn't I? Okay. Oh. Sven will uh, begrudge them out. Make sure we lock the door. You know, wouldn't want anyone to break in and steal that duck from them again. Something moved. 
move there. Is there any money in the pound? I guess maybe these guards are nicking all coins. Man, I'm gonna have trouble with this loot goal, it seems. And got almost nothing. So, I wonder what that place is. I'd like to try getting up there, but that's gonna need a rope arrow. Which I don't have. Alright. Back through here. Friends. Oh, there's yeah, nothing. Don't worry, a pretty little head about it. Oh, this is the toy shop. Maybe you actually we should have got a toy. Of course, it's locked. I have no idea what Bill's key opens, so. I don't remember which one was Bill either, so that's a problem. Maybe keeping an eye on where he went might have been a, a useful way to determine where his key might be, but. I think this guy's gonna come right around the building here. Nope. Nothing, nothing, Lisa, don't worry about it. <laughs> Green apple, it turned red, okay. Unfortunately, Lisa is just hanging out there. that noise. Right, Bill was one of the ones here. Letting those stay alert pep talks get the best of me. Oh. City watch. Yeah, Bill's key's probably for the city watch, isn't it? Right? Instructions say. So. It's just the one supposed to. Okay. I'm gonna save. I don't know if it's gonna wake him up. Hey, this isn't supposed to look this way. That woke him up. I don't know if it's a problem that he's awake. Tomorrow morning in the dark, Sparrow will set sail again, and we still haven't found any evidence against Captain Hunt and his strange crew. I am absolutely sure they have smugglers and pirates, but this gang is so damn cunning that they haven't made even the smallest slip up that will let us prove it. I'm betting that Peter and his boss are involved. Hunt needs to have helpers here, otherwise, he wouldn't be able to get his goods to the people. 
I will take Peter to the pub with me tomorrow evening and get him drunk in an effort to loosen him, loosen him up enough to get him to tell what he knows. For now, we'll have to let Captain Hunt and the Black Sparrow go tomorrow because we just don't have anything against them at the moment. Some things about Bill are making me suspicious. He's had too much money lately. Way too much for poor policemen. Has he been bribed by Captain Hunt? That would explain why we never find anything suspicious when we search his ship. If I just had some evidence. However, I will keep a close eye on Bill from now on, and as soon as I find the smallest proof of his betrayal, he will become well acquainted with our interrogation skills. Oh, so Bill's key is gonna open some... Some kind of evidence thing. You're not hiding a... Anything behind your beautiful portrait of Truett, are you? Guess I could look for switches and buttons, but I don't seem to see any. Asleep or what? What this gold dice? <clears throat> I don't know. You seem somewhat oblivious. Let's leave that banner until I'm on the way out, shall we? Sausage, beautiful. Flash mine, handy. Nothing there. Some dropped coins. 205 gold. Well, Bill has a secret. Doesn't appear to be here, right? Not a door, okay. Oh, you're going to be a problem, aren't you? I mean, I could sneak around here. <gasps> Show yourself! No skulking! I don't like this at all. Nobody? No better a false alarm than an emergency. You wouldn't want an emergency, you might have to move. I have to exert some effort. Now oh, she's just turned around. I have to go climb over this fence, but it's probably she more probably see me doing so. Where's this fellow? Coming back. Friends arrive. Where did he go? Damn. Keep your eyes open. 
There's a prowler running around loose. Well. Come on out then. That was poor timing on my part. There's a notice up there by the doors, but I can't read it from here. It's going to be a dead end, isn't it? I think we've got someone in here. Sergeant Bill, all right. Maybe we find out what Bill is up to. A teddy bear. What the hell is Burns doing in the pub garden? Does he think the old man has hidden treasure there? Huh, don't make me laugh. He even killed the dog. Rather sad. It was always fun for me to sit in that garden every Saturday and throw stones at the mud. He always whined so nicely when I struck him. Oh well, the burying of all the bones and his barking always got on my nerves. I'll be very quiet in the garden from now on. Bill. You have sausages. You also are mean to dogs, so we're going to take everything we can. You won't learn the lesson, because you're not going to put two and two together, right? Ooh, quite bright up here. Oh, is that the pub garden? Is that burned? Well, there are bones, that's for sure. There's bright glowing mushrooms everywhere. A liability for a thief like me? Hello? Hello? What did that open? Oh, a trap door. Uh huh. Bill? Oh, that's a lot of money. Alright. <sighs> like 300 there or something. Well, Bill, I'm afraid you're, um, hmm, I'm just wondering if I should go to the pub garden. That's here. Well, it seems like a dead end, right? Is there a way in there? I mean, climbing this fence is probably not the way in, right? I would hurt myself getting down. Okay. If we want to get in there, we have to find a different way. But, Bill, I'm even going to take your teddy bear away. I don't think you deserve to have a teddy bear. Not after what you did to that dog. I keep dropping it in the way. Are they still searching for me? Oh shit, that could be really bad. I would have thought they'd have given up by now. Hmm. Oh dear. Well, I have an invisibility potion, but I can't... Do I use it to get out of here? And maybe I should? Come back out here, you quick, 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 quick. Damn it. I propped a bear instead.
Okay, we made it out. Ah, that would be the way to the pub. I think. No, that goes over here. Oh, well, we'll go to the bar, yeah. Well, I haven't been that way. And we can get back to the greengrocer here. So sure, I can leave the teddy bear there. We're gonna, we're gonna give him a wooden duckling, we're gonna give him a teddy bear, we're gonna give him all the toys we can find. Because why not? He should have a nice birthday. So, there you go. Hello. Bill, your teddy bear's going on a grand adventure. Oh. Right, let's just leave a teddy bear here. Where does this take me? Jewel of Max Heller. Oh, that door is hella locked. Baker. You should see if the bakery uh, actually is open or not. I think I'm going to find a lot of bricks. No, oh, it's locked. And this house... Right, not locked, but it's not a door. That sign. I think it's a butcher. Butcher and poulterer by this by the look of it. Huh? What was that? That was me uh, accidentally throwing a teddy bear. Is there? Okay, hang on. Just to the right. All oh, right, this guy's gonna see me going down to the down the steps, isn't he? And he does look like a some kind of roguish piratey mm. fellow. She goes in and out of the... Peter Norrington, builder. A butcher, rather. I can't read. Does she have a key then that I could... What's, what's that sound? Boy. Well, a dairy is good. We get cheese. We get... No, we don't want that. We don't want that cheese. That up on the shelf. <laughs> Nothing for us there. More cheese. Some coins. Not quite as tasty, but you know, we'll we'll eat what we can. My dairy key. Get seen by a guard, shall we? Mm, something there. Oh, he's got money. Looks like it's nothing. Oh, 
I really need lockpicks, and I have no idea where I'm going to find them. Not in this garden. Not in the lockpick plants growing here. And he's coming back. How dark is it here? Not very. No, he's not coming back. All right. That's why he turned around. He went turned to the left. Is that the bookshop again? Yeah, okay, so we've gone around in a circle. Where am I gonna find lockpicks? Oh, well, we need to get back to the greengrocers. I think we have a window to do that right now. We've got a teddy bear. Away. <laughs> right, put you there, put the duck. Duck ends up facing towards me, so I can place the duck more easily. Okay. However, You know what I should do, actually? No one's gonna break in here right now, right? I don't know, I'll keep locking the doors. I was, I was gonna just make, we're still gonna come back. When I'm done here, I'll leave the key back under the map. But until then, I'll just keep, uh... Keep locking the doors behind me, okay. So we've kind of been all over the streets, broadly speaking, but um, no sign of lockpicks. What's this? That's the armor. Right, yeah. Hmm. Well, it's a little early. But I'm going to end the episode here and I'm going to look up a hint as to where to go to get lockpicks because I feel like I'm just gonna be stymied without them. So, uh, thanks very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon for the next episode. Whoops, better get out of the way this guy is. <laughs>